All right, so this is our current project. Um, hour? Yes, hour. It was my idea. You wouldn't have been able to make it without my idea. <laughs> so we found, well, my cousin actually had this chicken wire, and I, there's like a million and one different things you can do with chicken wire in weddings that looks really nice. Or I think so, anyway. And Chris went to the store and got just these, what are these? Two? One by four. One by fours. These one by fours. And, um, stapling this all together so we can like hang pictures and stuff on it this whole project came out to be what would you say twelve dollars the wood was third and that's all we need so yeah so the, this whole project came out to be thirteen dollars and this is the back of it so the other side will look nicer and we're gonna hang like um string across it and like pin little pictures on it so that's the plan and then we also got this this is another one of our projects. We got this. We went to Habitat for Humanity and got this for twenty dollars. And it's hard. It's hard to like explain things, but you'll see it after it's done. We're gonna put pictures in here and write on them, and um, it'll look like little frames, basically. So we are out. We have this outside cleaning it, but twenty bucks for that and thirteen for this over here. So we are doing more wedding stuff now. It's so exhausting because we can't do any of it until the kids are in bed because it has to deal with like paint and glass and all that jazz. Um, but this is going to be for the sand ceremony. And we are having a hard time <laughs> figuring all this stuff out. This is like the thing that we got to pour sand into. And if you guys don't know what the sand ceremony is, it's just like a ceremony. Like some people do like a unity candle and there's just different things that you can do. And the sand is a nice way for like a blended family. So in theory, we're gonna have all the kids um, have their own glass to pour into this thing. Right, so we all have our own glass, and there's more over there. And you fill it with sand, different color sand, and then you can fill it up in here. But we're realizing now that this is way too big, and the sand, the amount of sand that fits in here is like minuscule. Like when you dump it in here, it's like barely a line right there. So we're gonna have to get something smaller. Um, and on top of that, this is all the sand that I got. I clearly wasn't thinking, and we still need another color. Um, we're gonna do like I dumped these into here, and one of these will fill up, like, two of these. Not to the top, but... And he's being an awesome husband. Husband-to-be and cleaning all these for me. What are you doing? Soaking, soaking? hot water. Oh. It's hot, soapy water. Oh. We're get, trying to get the bottom of these off. So we got all these from Hobby Lobby, of course. And uh, basically, we need to get another one of these that's smaller, because one bag of these will fill up two of those, but these all being full won't fill up this and we need to practice doing the sand sandwich like i literally want to practice it like i got practice sand where's it at i don't know what i did with it i have practice oh it's up there i have practice sand that we're going to practice with these things and we're going to practice dumping nicely the sand into here so it's not an absolute and complete disaster i don't know how nice it will be yeah i think i think we need a funnel i really do and we're tired. 5,000 kids Five. will not use a funnel. <laughs> and it's already freaking midnight. This is our life for the past month. No, it's a lot longer than that. Longer? Yeah. And then we have all of these are our favors. You can't really see it. It's cute in the way. But we have these cups. And I have to show you all the, um, the chalkboard stuff that I've done. But we got like the glass labels or the chalkboard labels for these. And we have a chalkboard sign that says your glass for the night for whatever tastes right. And then we're going to put the chalkboard labels on and people can label their names on here. And they get to take this home and also use it for the night. So this is tonight's plan. On top of that, trying to figure out the song for Down the Aisle. So six it's, more days. It's already figured out. Yeah, we just have to figure out who's walking when. Six days. Are you sure? Are you getting cold feet? You're not wearing socks, I see. Um, You're a brave man. Very. <laughs> I'll have an extra pair somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, that's tonight's project. We have a lot more to do. All right, kids are swimming outside. Half of them are eating lunch. And I'm working on yet another project. This is just going to like be a decoration, like goes on the decorative table. Um, I just painted the top of it right now. I forgot to start recording, but um, it's just like a cardboard 
S that we got from Hobby Lobby. I think it was like six bucks or something. What? And I'm just using the paint that I used in the mason jars. We had a couple left over and I'm going to paint this and then we're gonna decorate it and um, put it somewhere. We're not I'm not sure exactly where it's going, but I thought it was a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a few, ca few coats of paint and then um, go from there. I'm just kind of winging it. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I didn't sign a consent form. <laughs> oh my god. Like we said, it was like $13 or $15 or something for all this wood. Chicken wire we got for free. And um, we're now going to paint it and decorate it. And the amount of labor labor put into this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> and we don't even know what it's for yet. I know like what I want to do with it, but I haven't figured out what exactly I want to do with it. So.